Hello everyone, this is Danny Walker with NetWalkerMarketing.com and today we're going to talk about how to find prospects and friends and increase your circle of influence on Facebook. So first of all, we're going to keep it real simple. You're going to click on your friends once you're logged into Facebook. Say you have a meeting going on somewhere. Yeah, I know we have a meeting going on in Reno, Nevada at our manufacturing facility next week. I don't know a lot of people in Reno. But I was looking for some people I may be connected to who live in Reno, Nevada. So if you click on Find Friends, hold on, sorry, I got ahead of myself here, guys. I apologize. I want you to be able to follow along here so it makes sense. You click on Friends, and when that page opens, it shows your friends. And then you're going to go over here and you're going to click on Find Friends. And that's going to open up an option bar that you can fill in all kinds of information. You can fill in a friend's name, Joe. You can fill in friends who live in hometown is, or maybe the current city they live in, or the high school they went to, mutual friends that they may have, the college, the employer that they have. I mean, you can get extremely detailed. But for now, we're going to keep it simple. And I'm just going to look for friends in Reno, Nevada. And it's going to pull up Reno, Nevada, and I'm going to click there. And what Facebook does is it goes through all of my friends that I'm connected to and gives me a list of people who know some people that in Reno that I'm already friends with. So, for example, I, this person, Adrian Ashley, I have six mutual friends in common. And I can look here and see who those friends are. Here's Don, and here's a mutual friend that I have in common with Don. So you can go in here now, and I would send a friend request. I would just say add friend. Now, uh, you might look at their timeline and see what kind of information they're posting. Find some things you share in common so that when they accept your friend request, you're then going to private message them and say, hey, thanks so much, Don, for connecting with me. I know you're in Reno, and I see that you're really into health and wellness or whatever it might be riding motorcycles whatever you share in common I ride motorcycles too and I'm up in Oregon how do you like living in Reno and you're gonna start that conversation and start building a real relationship with people online with the intent of taking it offline as quickly as possible and then obviously my motive here is to be able to invite them to come meet me in person in Reno because I'll be there next week Maybe you have a networking event going on, a meeting going on in a city far away from you, and you want to have a few guests. This is an excellent way. Go find friends, people who live in that current city where that meeting is taking place, and friend them and invite them to go attend that meeting. Now, I, I advise you not to make the invite the first conversation you have with them, but to really share an interest, build that relationship, a little bit of trust and rapport, and say, hey, the reason that I actually you know, was, was reaching out to you because I know you live in Reno and I'll, I'll be there next week and I'd love to meet you in person. I'm always looking to expand my circle of influence with like-minded people who are into health and wellness or something like that. And they're going to say, oh, yeah, you're in Reno next week. What, what are you doing there? And you have the opportunity to share with them. Okay. Now, if you're not going to be in that city, you reached out to them because you live far away, but a corporate corporate member or one of the team leaders is going to be, you know, business partner you have is expanding their business into Houston, Texas, and you are looking for a business partner in that area. It may not be them. They may not be interested, but they may know somebody who is, and you'd love to introduce them. Just keep it really cool, really laid back. Have fun with it. And remember, it's all about building the relationship and the rapport. Okay, so I hope that this tip on finding friends on Facebook in specific locations so that you can start building teams in those locations has been helpful to you. For more tips like this, go to netwalkermarketing.com and get the 45 proven strategies to generate leads, increase sales, and create attraction for your home-based business.